Happy New Year everybody, happy 2021. We're here, we've arrived, woohoo! What does this year have in store for us? Who knows, anything goes at the moment. What I do know is that our intention helps to create our reality. So how we view things really does have a very real impact on how our future unfolds. Now, before the new year, I was talking about doing a video about journaling and, and this is that video, <laughs> I'm doing it now. Now, I wanted to share, first of all, a diary that I have been using for the last couple of years by Yasmin Boland, the astrologer, moonologer, author of the Moonology Cards and Diaries and book. And this is her Moonology Diary for 2021. Uh, I have gifted it to a few of my friends this year because I really feel that everyone should have one. It's basically for each month, it has an overview of all the astrological events that are going on and things to focus on. It tells you all the moon phases. It's just super handy. And I love the covers too. Like, I'm not going to lie. These colours are my colours. <laughs> and I love the moon. So, yeah, I just find this really helpful. So if you want to check it out, do so. But this is my diary that I will be using throughout the rest of this year. Drop me a comment. Let me know what diary you use and if you've used this diary too. The other one that I want to talk about is a journal. It's the Positively Wealthy Journal by Spiritual Queen Emma Mumford. And this is also fantastic. If you need help or advice working on your abundance and manifestation, then this journal is the one for you. And it basically takes you through every month and there's accountability in there and places to make notes and tips and hints. Do follow Emma, I will put a link here to her Instagram page. This is one of my journals, sparkly of course, and my pretty pens, pink and purple. And basically what I tend to do is I do work with the phases of the moon, which is why I love the Moonology Diary too. But I also work very much so intuitively and at the beginning of each year, what I like to do is I write down a list of things that I would like to achieve, that I would like to see manifesting within my world and the world at large during the coming year, in this case, 2021. So I would write things like, I'm not gonna tell you all of my secrets and wishes, hopes and desires as well, because it's important that we hold these close to our heart and keep that energy to ourselves until it's ready to be birthed into the world. For example, some of the things that you could write in your journal could be things like, I would like to manifest a new home in 2021. Another way of wording it could be as if it has already happened. And this is a little trick that many people do who work with manifestation. And so instead of saying, I would like, you could say something like, thank you, I now have the home of my dreams. Can you feel the difference in that? So what you're doing in the first one is you're putting it out there, what you want to wish. And the second one, you're saying, I already have this. And you're saying it and stating it to the universe, to the divine, as if it already is. And there's a huge difference. And when you're making your affirmations, your statements of wishes and things that you wish to manifest, always infuse them with this sense of energy and excitement and hope and it just really infuses it and makes it even more powerful. So for example, I am so thankful for my new home. I love it so much. It has beautiful trees and it has plants and it has this and this and this and so on and so forth. So again, can you feel the difference? The more you infuse your enthusiasm and intention and put that emotion into your affirmations, it really has a physical and tangible effect. So going back to what I was saying, so you would make your 
list, let's, let's say about 10 maybe, or more or less, whatever it is, whatever's important to you, you would write them in your journal and then you would, we'll call it a manifestation journal. So you'd write it in your manifestation journal, which can be a beautiful notebook that is specifically for this purpose. Don't use it for the shopping list or anything else. Just keep it for your manifestations and write it beautifully and carefully and with intention. And so you make, you would make your list and then every month or week or however often you wanna check in, you would refer back to it and you can tick things off as they happen. Now, I was doing this without even knowing I was doing it back in my 20s, which is quite a long time ago now. But I did this and then I went back actually a couple of years ago and looked through and I could tick off all of these little boxes, like things that I, at the time, they seemed so far fetched and so almost impossible to achieve because I didn't have the same mindset that I have now. And um, yeah, I mean, a lot of what I learn about manifestation and creative visualization was from who I believe one of the um, masters of manifestation, which is the wonderful lady Shakti Gawain, who is now sadly passed, but her energy and her work lives on. And the other lady, the master of manifestation herself, Louise Hay, who I have always adored and read all of her books. So to find myself now as a Hay House author with two Oracle card decks under my fairy belt, my fairy mermaid belt, so to speak, is it's a dream come true because it was one of my wishes back in the day. I wished to be a Hay House author and now, years later, I am. So that's incredible. Manifestation, journaling and the Positively Wealthy Journal by Emma Mumford and The Moonology Diary by Yasmin Boland are my three books that I will be taking through as my spiritual companions through 2021. So do let me know what your spiritual companion books are in the comments below. And before I go, I'm just going to pull a card to see what the intention is for our manifesting journey of 2021. And I will ask the fairies right now. Dear fairies, please share your wisdom for our manifestation journeys in 2021. This is super exciting. And do look out for my 12 month forecast that I'll be doing from one of the spreads in my Oracle of the Fairies guidebook. Um, I've never done a video on this before, so I'm super excited about that too. Oh, a flyer. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Life energy. How perfect is this? This is the perfect card for our manifestation journey because the life energy fairy comes in from the sunshine. The sun is the giver of life, the giver of life to our dreams, hopes, wishes, etc. So this card ties in perfectly for our work with manifestation in 2021. I love saying 2021. It kind of rhymes with fun, doesn't it? I love that. The Life Energy card from Oracle of the Fairies, the Fairy of the Sunshine is flying in to bless all of our manifestation work for 2021. I wish you so much love, light, joy, and magical fairy blessings on your manifestation journey. Take care until the next time. Bye.